Attention students. Attention. It is the end of the school year and I know how everyone is looking forward to summer, but it is now time to enforce the annual No Child Left Behind Learning Games. I have your last year's results. This district didn't do very well on last year's learning games, so I hope that your teacher, Mrs. Crocker, was able to provide you with enough practice testing and the required math, reading and science to help you on this year's games. I know we have made a full evaluation on her performance. I am sure she does not want further evaluation. Tisk tisk tisk. Oh my. I will now choose two names and these two students will represent your school district. I wish you luck and may the test scores forever be in your favor. First student, Stacy Urkel. Second student, Patricia Starr. So exciting. Our two entrants for the annual No Child Left Behind Learning Games. Congratulations! Mrs. Crocker, our political science book says that education is handled mostly by state and local government, so why are the No Child Left Behind Learning Games federally enforced? Such a critical thinker. Federalism as our founding fathers had intended was that our state and the federal government have separate jurisdiction while sharing some powers. Oh, the bo 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 bubbles Education was a family and community endeavor, not some government game. The federal role should be limited due to the Tenth Amendment, which reserves most power to the states. The government has taken it upon themselves to protect our rights and provide for our needs with the learning games process. Mrs. Crocker, Patricia Starr is a special education student. Why is she representing the district with her test scores? They do not take into account that our district is one of the poorest and diverse districts in the country, with the most needs not met. But I am sure they will notice soon. Poor Patricia Starr. I hope she remembers to fill in her bubbles completely. I don't think the government knows that I am in special education. I am doing better than last year, but I do not think I can do grade level work yet. I am scared to. Remember to completely fill in your bubbles. At least you have a 1 out 3 chance of getting the answer right and hopefully your school is not penalized this year. What happens to our district and school if we don't improve our scores this year? Our district is up for additional services, like more help, but our school will evaluate our teacher again. We might not have Mrs. Crocker as our teacher anymore. Oh no. And it's all my fault. It is not your fault. The Bush administration signed this ridiculous bill in 2001. All K-12 students should have been caught up at their level of reading, math and science this year. Obviously that has not happened. Our state have lowered their testing standards. We are actually learning less in our schools than most overseas schools. Even our private schools are not up to par. So the federal government should not have control on education. That is right.